This video is on developing your own template in Finale. There are some of its own in there and you can go through and explore those, but this is about using the settings that you like and creating your own template. You're going to want to start with a piece that you have created that you already like all the layout um, or that you like the instrumentation is standard, um, but you have measure numbers and rehearsal numbers all set exactly the way you want and you don't want to have to do that again. Um, you don't need to. So we're going to start with the second measure, click on it, scroll all the way to the end, select the, the last bottom measure there, and just delete them all. Now they're all gone. All we have left is one measure. We do want to clear out any items that are in this uh, measure, so we'll go into edit and, and hit clear all items. And now you have a, a, basically a one measure long empty uh, piece of music. And what we'll do now is start to take care of some of the formatting that needs to be adjusted. So uh, we'll just scroll down here uh, to check through to make sure the names of all the instruments are what I would want them to be. Uh, there wasn't anything that was specific for that piece. And we get down here and you can see that timpani have the, has the pitches listed there and we probably wouldn't want that. We don't necessarily know that um, those are the three mallet instruments we would have on that mallet part. So we'll go into our score manager. Uh, and you could hit command K uh, and we'll go to the timpani part, edit the full name and get the, the pitches that are listed out of there. So we just have timpani. We'll go to the mallet part uh, and do the same thing, change it to mallets. Um, so you could, if you know that you're always going to be writing for bells, if it's uh, a beginning band thing or if you know you're always going to be writing for snare drum, bass drum, and percussion one, you can leave that stuff in. Uh, but if you don't know that, it's something that you can easily add later uh, and just leave the general setup there. So we're clearing out all these so that they'll be listed as percussion 1, 2, and 3. And that's all done. Uh, so we'll close out of the score manager. And then there's an, an organ part for, for this piece, but I probably wouldn't do that for everything. So we'll two finger tap on that, which brings up the alternate menu there, and we'll delete the steps staves and, and you're good to go. You've got a nice clean empty score with just some formatting issues here. Um, so uh, we're going to go back into the score manager to take care of some different things. We've been using the instrument list but now we're going to go to the file info and we're going to get rid of the title, going to get rid of the subtitle, going to get rid of the composer, going to get rid of the arranger. Uh, we can leave the copyright for right now. We're back to our home page. We still have this sub, uh, uh, subtitle information there, so we, that's a text. We'll just go in and delete that. And so now we have a blank, empty uh, piece that's formatted the way we like it. We're going to save it with a different title, uh, and in this case, we'll save it to our desktop so it's easy to find, uh, but we're going to call it AHS Concert Band uh, Template. Pretty common name. Easy to figure out what it is. Save it. We've got it ready to go. Now, you're ready to create a new piece, and you don't want to have to do all of that layout work. What are you going to do? You're going to go into a File, and you're going to say New from Template. And Finale has a bunch of templates already, as I said. And what you can do is use one of their templates, uh, make some alterations that you're happy with, uh, and then save that as a template. Uh, because now it has those things done. I, I often just use the last piece that I created because it's the one I'm the, usually the happiest with as my next template. Once you've selected your template, uh, you go in and it's basically treating it like it was a um, new piece from the setup wizard. The only thing you're not going to have to do is select the instrumentation because you've already done that in this template. Uh, you'll just name it, uh, put composers, you can do your time signature and key signature, get it all laid out uh, exactly the way uh, you would for a, a brand new piece but we're skipping the step of adding instrumentation and there's some other layout things that you're skipping uh, and so it's just saving you time which is really the goal and there you have it a piece all set up ready to go